So Millie arrived about 10 months ago to New York City from Florida on an airplane that landed at uh, Newark International Airport. She was all of about 14 pounds of fluff and bone and we brought her back to our apartment in the city and she was a really wonderful dog, very happy puppy, uh, loved people and loved other dogs. But we had one problem with her. All of the noise of the city completely freaked her out. Um, the, the, the car horns and the slamming doors and the garbage trucks and the sirens and it was so bad that, that she wouldn't go for a walk. Uh, she would go outside our building and do her dog business and then she'd immediately want to go inside where it was safe and quiet. And I tried every inducement I could think of her think of to get her to walk around the block. Treats, squeaky toys, everything that made her happy and she wouldn't budge beyond the edge of, edge, edge of our building. And so finally I said, Lord, I can't have a dog that doesn't go for a walk, not in New York City. So I finally thought of my friend, my friend's dog, Winky. And Winky, I knew, was a confident, seasoned, veteran city dog. So I thought maybe if I brought Winky over, Winky could teach Millie how to walk. So I brought Winky over, and Millie and Winky got acquainted in the apartment, and then we went outside. And Winky began to go purposely down the street, trotting along. Millie froze at the edge of the building, sat down, and wouldn't budge. And that's when Winky stopped. She paused for a minute and then she looked back over her shoulder at Millie. And their eyes made contact and in the, for about 10 seconds they seemed to communicate. And I thought that what Winky was saying was, come on kid, once you get past the noise life is a lot of fun. And Millie sat there and thought about it for a while. She looked up at me and then she said, or seemed to say, well I'll give it a try. And she did. She got up and she went and glued herself to Winky's side and they went around the corner and the next day Winky came back and they walked all over the neighborhood together and ever since then Millie has loved to walk in New York City. It was amazing to me to see one dog teach another dog about life in the city and I think what I believed Winky said to Millie which was life is a lot of fun once you get past the noise is something that we can all uh, learn from in our lives.